easy way to save a lot of money in aviation is to buy things secondhand. For instance, here we have a headset. Headset is used, very much loved, <laughs> but the thing is, is that looks can be deceiving. With a headset, all of these foam pieces, basically, right up here, the little headbands, the earmuffs, and even the mic cover can easily be replaced. You can find headsets on all the popular sites where people sell their secondhand equipment, and a lot of times it comes from students or people getting out of aviation. And it may not look even this rough, but this is a prime example of a really good headset that's in really good shape that just uh, superficially looks rough. And a seller may get to the point where they're just looking at this and want to get out of aviation and you can get this at a really reasonable price. Um, these Sierra headsets new are around somewhere around eight, eight hundred dollars um, a couple of years ago. Uh, I think you might be able to get them somewhere around 600, 650 now new. Um, but if someone's getting out of aviation for one reason or another, and especially if they're used, they're going to sell them at a fraction of the price. So this is my headset. Um, this is my alternate headset that I usually let my passengers wear. And it's a really good headset. It's got active noise um, cancellation on there. So it's actually uh, circuitry in this component here that uh, cancel out, cancels out the noise. Uh, it's got the volume controls here. Uh, it even has Bluetooth and the line in. This is nice because I can um, I can use the FM radio, um, which is in the other video there that I'll post down, um, the little FM radio so they can listen to music while we're flying around and calms them down. It's pretty nifty. So, headset like this that you would get online, you would get a fraction of a price. And let me show you how easy it is to basically refurbish this thing. Uh, for those who have headsets and have uh, been in aviation for a little while now, uh, this is a good tip for you. Uh, it's actually recommended by most manufacturers that you go through this process once a year. So um, you're able to get all of this stuff online. Uh, I was actually able to get all of this stuff via Amazon, so it's pretty cool. Um, this is the headset band. These are the replacement foam mic covers. Uh, since we're doing it anyway, why not? And then this is straight from um, uh, Lightspeed. These are Lightspeed replacement covers. Uh, and I got this from Amazon. These were $30. Uh, this usually lasts for maybe a year or two years. Uh, the new ones, uh, because they're new and they're puffy, um, they will definitely help with the noise cancellation. That's why most manufacturers recommend actually replacing them. These I think were $3 and this was somewhere in the range of $10. And all of these are actually light speed um, original equipment. This is a uh, third party uh, Crystal Pilot. No affiliation or anything, but just as good. So basically what we're going to do, pretty simple, is just take the old stuff off. Toss it. Boop. The uh, headset ear muff parts here um, just pop off. And when you're looking at headsets, I recommend doing this. Also, this one has a little cover. The covers I never really replace, but when you're purchasing a headset, just take a look at the actual driver mechanism in there. That's the actual speaker. Uh, the since this pad never makes contact with um, with ears. <laughs> uh, you, you really don't have to replace it, and um, I don't recommend replacing it, just keeping that in there. So, as you can see, these have split open. Um, the stuff is, like, everywhere. The last time I used this, it was actually getting all over my passenger's ears, so we definitely have gone past the time of replacement here. And then finally, these just kind of pop off here, like so. And hopefully I can get this in, in frame there, but uh, you can see the little tabs here where they just kind of squeeze in, pop back in. So that's pretty much it as far as the foam parts. And let's just build it from the top. I'll do the uh, little headband here. It's hard with 
one hand, but you get the general gist of what's going on here. And they fit really kind of one way, actually. If I can just get it in there, this would be good. And it's good that it's stiff. I go in a little, there we go. Snapped right in, perfect. Next, I'll open this package, throw that to the side. And these are just held in by a gasket, like a rubber gasket type thing. And it doesn't matter what side you really want to do first. It, just make sure this little teardrop, you can see better from the back, that goes down. So just slide them in like so. Don't really try to crush them too much, but uh, I think you get the idea there. Pretty much slides in. That slides in. The pressure from uh, the person's head will really clamp them down, but they're they're pretty good. Um, another thing, just kind of a ugh, nasty uh, maintenance thing with headsets, especially for these pads here, is you don't want to place them on the yoke. Uh, when you're done with them, you want to place them on a flat surface. Uh, if you are um, at an airport, I always tuck them either under the seat or really close to the um, to the pedals. That way, uh, they don't get hot. This doesn't break down. Definitely don't put them on your uh, your glare shield. That is a bad idea. It'll break down this stuff. It will oh, it will do all kinds of bad things. Also. Probably one of the worst things is you put it on your head and you just burn yourself because a lot of these are black and they just absorb that summer sun. And the last thing here is just this little guy right here. And since this is a universal one, which isn't my favorite, I kind of like doing original parts, but these were inexpensive and truthfully it's just foam. It doesn't really matter. Um, it just slides over that. So nothing, nothing crazy. It even comes with the adapter rings if, um, if you have a headset where it just kind of locks in. So I've got two. I can use this on my other headset. I have uh, Bose and a couple other ones, but uh, comes with two, yay. And these were, like I said, a few bucks. Really, really inexpensive. So throw that one out to the side. I'm gonna get a little bit of an alcohol pad and just since we're kind of doing a reconditioning, I'm just going to clean the contacts here. It doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, just cleaning all that junk off. This also protects it a little bit. Just wanna clean those off real good. That way you don't get the static when you plug them in. Another um, point to kind of bear in mind is when you're done flying around and you've got your head set, make sure you unplug these uh, because there is a big chance that if you always keep them in the contact between the actual audio jack and this will cause corrosion so you do not want that that will uh, mean that you're in the avionic shop changing out your uh, audio jack and it ruins this because it pits it so every time you plug it into another one, you'll have a loose contact because it'll have pitting. Uh, that is no good. And then with this, really, you don't do a whole lot to it. Just kind of wipe it off with a damp cloth if you would like. I don't. I, I truthfully don't really need to ever. Um, do not wipe these parts down. Only the metal parts with the alcohol will break down the plastic. So pretty simple and as you can see I went from a really nasty crummy headset to something that looks brand new and a lot of times looks can be deceiving you'll get a headset it will look like the crummiest thing ever and it'll actually function properly just make sure you ask the seller if it's in working condition um, I doubt that people will straight out lie to you I'm sure it will happen but uh, even better if you can have them demonstrate that it works. Great. Um, but I've reconditioned it. This will stay good for another year or so. Um, probably even past that, to be honest. And it looks like a brand new headset. So this is a way to recondition the headset that you do have. And then also 
uh, kind of trick to a buyer that doesn't want to spend a ton of money on a brand new headset because here we go. So stay thrifty guys and uh, till next time.